Right, hi everybody, this is Andy from Andy Kelly Photography uh, and this is really um, a follow up video from my unboxing of the uh, new Ghost Drift HD um, sorry, the Drift Ghost S uh, HD um, little camera um, I'll put the link in below, um, click just bing there and uh, I'll send you a link to it uh, and this is really just yeah, follow on video where I'm going to be using um, some of the uh, extra features that it has um, and specifically this uh, curved um, helmet mount um, which I'm going to be using um, to put on my very dirty motorcycle helmet so don't judge me for that, sorry um, so yeah, so the thing's going to be needing uh, is the curved adhesive mount the camera mount and your camera and a helmet. Um, so first things first, that's completely un-camera related, um, but it's quite important, uh, is just make sure that whatever surface you're gonna be putting the adhesive onto, give it a bloody go clean um, to just remove any sort of excess dirt or gumph or anything that might affect the quality of the adhesive. Um, because, believe me, um, the last thing you want is for you to be dropping your 250 quid uh, camera on the road the first time you use it. So that's nice and clean, um, pretty dry. So, um, so yeah, so that's that. Um, so the, the adhesive placement, I think, is going to be pretty, pretty important. Um, uh, so I'm going to be putting it just, just here, uh, just on the side of the cat, uh, just on the side of the helmet, um, just making sure that it doesn't affect the uh, the visor as it comes as it comes up and down because that could lead to some issues. Um, so I've had a little bit of a play around and a bit of an experiment, um, and so that is where I'm going to be putting it. So um, so let's see. What happens? I assume that you just have a little peel of this and it will come off. So I'm just being a bit of a pleb at the moment. Sorry, I shouldn't really shouldn't really swear. Sorry mum. Um sorry. That's my mum and dad by the way. Hi mum, hi dad. Much love. Sorry, uh sorry for swearing. Um is pleb really a swear word? I don't know. Might fast forward this. Ah, there you go. There you go. Got it. So that's a bit of a fiddle, which uh, which is fine. And that just comes off. Uh, so, yeah, so nice dry motorcycle. Oh, nice dry helmet. Um, just trying to get this in one good hit. Just Christ, that's sticky. One good hit. Just there. And we're on. Give it a nice, give it a good little pushy pushy. I'll see, I have sort of missed a little bit there on the on the seal, but because my helmet's a bit funny, it might it might be alright. Well, I hope it's alright. So yeah, so that's on. Uh, once that's on, you then all you need to do is just get the mount and the camera. Uh, so the mount's going to go on. So the mount's going to be going on that way, like so. So just really do need to get more space. Just take the camera mount, spinny, spinny, spinny. Oops. There we go. So this is, is that going to go on? That's the one. There you go. And so you've got like the, you've got the main sort of thread. Um, that sort of sits inside the mount and it sort of spins independently so even if you get the misalignment not quite right with your helmet mount you can adjust it so you can see it's it's quite level there but if you just loosen it off a little bit you can just sort of turn it uh, and readjust so if um, so if this mount isn't completely spot on um, it, it shouldn't really matter that much you you'll just have to take a couple of test rides uh, and just fit it out and then that just slots on bada bing we're in so you can see there it's just on the side quite nicely mounted um, let's give it a little bit of a shake test 
yeah, I'm pleased with that. I'm pleased with that indeed. So, um, so there you go. Um, that's how you mount your uh, Drift Ghost S HD onto the side of a motorcycle helmet. Um, I'll put up a little follow-up video of my first test ride with this and uh, I'll give you some feedback. But until then, uh, see you next time. It's been Andy from Andrew Cayley Photography. Cheers!